Visit sailright.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. You can make your own refrigerator doorstop for your RV, boat, or home, which will allow ventilation to help prevent mold and odors from forming inside your fridge. These fridge stops are made from webbing, hook and loop, and boat blanket fabric samples from Sayerite. Simple to sew and install. Let's get started. At the end of this video, there's a full materials and tools list. At the end of boating or camping season, uh, you'll always want to turn off and clean out your ice makers or your refrigerators. Um, get them as dry as possible so you don't have a mold or mildew problem. And then we want to come up with a way to keep the door from closing um, in storage. So we're going to create a very simple uh, webbing strap that goes around the door and keeps that from happening. To do so, we want to measure, use a soft tape measure, measure all the way around the door, and then we want to add about six inches to that measurement and uh, we're going to show you how to do a really simple sewing project to create these props to keep your doors from closing. This is a two inch uh, nylon webbing. You can use polypropylene or you could use polyester as well. We're marking it to size. It's always a good idea to use a hot knife. If you don't have a hot knife, you can cut it with scissors and then use a wood burner tool or a lighter to keep the ends of the webbing from unraveling. Here we're using the Sayerite Edge hot knife with the Sayerite uh, tempered cutting glass for hot knife underneath. And now we have our webbing cut to size. This is the hook fastener system. It's two inches wide, it's black. We also sell it in white. And it does move around a little bit when you sew it, so I'm gonna attach it to one end of the webbing with some wonder clips. And then I'll take this side and I'll actually fold it in half like a sandwich and then we're going to put looped uh, fastener system on this side. We do not want to put it on the opposite side because otherwise it just won't close right. And again, we're going to use the wonder clips for this. So this piece is six inches long. It's a two inch loop. And this piece is two inches long. It too is a two inch piece. So with the Velcro like this, if you look at this system, you see there's Velcro on one side, and then when it gets fastened, it would be fastened like that. Okay, so everything's in place, and I'm going to sew a straight stitch. I'm using black thread. Uh, I'm going to sew it about uh, four millimeters in length and forward and reverse. And I'm going to hold on to the trailing thread so that I don't get a rat's nest on the back side. And I'm going to sew about two or three stitches and forward and then some reversing to that edge. And then I'll sew down this side. When I get to the corner, I'm going to stop my, with my needle buried and then I'm going to lift my presser foot and roll it around and I'm going to move the wonder clips. Now it's pretty much in position so I can take those off. Don't forget to lower the foot or you'll cause jamming. And then we'll just sew to this next corner. Needles buried, lift the foot. Oops, I should probably go a little bit more. I can do that with a reverse lever to make adjustments to put the needle where I want it, right about there. And come down this side. Then when I get to where I started, I'll do a little bit of reversing here to lock that stitch in place. That side's done. So the loop's attached. There's what it looks like on the back side, and we'll trim our threads. Let's go ahead and do the hook side. And I'll start here, and we'll do the exact same thing yet again. I'm going to cut these threads. Hold on to my trailers. Do some reversing and we'll go around the perimeter in the exact same way with this hook fastener. This is a boat blanket material. It's got a really fuzzy outside surface and kind of a, a stiffer backside. 
and uh, hooked fastener systems hook very well to it. So this is the fuzzy side. I'm going to turn it over. This is also a six by six sample that you can get from Sayerite. So you don't have to buy yards of this fabric unless you want to. You could buy a six by six inch sample and it works perfect for this. So we're going to put this on to the back side, all to one side, it doesn't matter which side, and make sure it is the hooked uh, fastener, not the loop. And I'm going to use the wonder clips just to hold it in place. And I'm going to sew around it in the same manner. So there's our boat blanket material and you can position it anywhere you want. Just fold one side over and make sure that it's tight on the webbing and then fold this side over. And now you've got a good pad to keep your door open and notice it doesn't move up and down very easily. And you can make it as tight as you want, but that is sufficient. So we can put this anywhere we'd like on the fridge just to keep it open and we can wrap it to the back side and Velcro it here or anywhere else you'd like. And this will basically keep the door from shutting all the way and prevent uh, it from becoming a stink problem. Here's the materials and tools list. You can see the quantities of hook and loop that we used per strap. And we used one sample of boat blanket per strap. If you'd like to see other videos regarding the Airstream renovation or RV renovation series, click the playlist link here. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to give us a call or email us. We're glad to help. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sailrite, thanks for watching.